terrible. Dr. Siegel's been killed. They found his body in the mines, and I know this sounds absurd, but some of the workers are saying he was killed by a mummy. Can you imagine? Some are even saying they saw the mummy. Oh, God, I can't believe this. I'm going to go call the authorities. Davenport's still down in there. I'm sure he'll fill you in on any of the details. Cameron, do you believe this crap? Siegel's been murdered and all the workers have run off scared out of their wits. They claim there's a mummy loose in the mines. <laughs> they were hysterical, running around screaming that we've awakened the spirits of the dead. It's bloody nonsense, if you ask me. Absolutely insane. Where'd all this happen? Well, down the tunnel there. We haven't moved his body yet. Everything's exactly as we found it. I should probably search his body for clues. <laughs> Not a pretty sight down there. Well, nasty things like murder sometimes happen out here in the wilds, Cameron. Not nice and safe like your New York office. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, about your mind tour. Afraid I can't do it. Because for some reason, the power to the lights was cut. Wouldn't be able to see a thing. It's a pity, really. Uh, actually, I was quite looking forward to it. But, uh... I might as well share a few tidbits with you now, so you won't bother me later. Let's see, um, well, the mines here are divided up into six different levels, which are connected both by elevators and mine cars. The manganese ore is loaded from the carts onto the conveyor belt, which takes it through to the pulverizer over there, and then deposits the ore onto the surface. As you probably already know, We've got six different mine fans out here which draw fresh air into the mines. One shoot for each different level. Yes, well, uh, I think that's enough for now.
great pity about Siegel. Any more news about the murder? No, not really. His death really screws things up. Now there's no chance of getting started soon. The workers are such superstitious bastards. A mummy. Right. I can't believe you, Davenport. One of your key people has been murdered, and you, you don't seem that concerned. Look, it happened. It's over. Another casualty of war, as they say. Dirty things happen out here in the field, Cameron. You'd better get used to it. I have don't fit. There must be another way to get in there. If there was only a way to get up to that window.
playing with boxes now, I see. Eh? <laughs> well, I'm almost afraid to leave you by yourself in a room as big as this. You might start seeing monsters or something. You know, Cameron, I really hope National is giving you a big raise for coming out here. Because this is real work, not like pushing paper, isolated in some Manhattan skyscraper. They promised me a raise when I took this job. But then, oh well, they renege soon after, par for the course with those white-collared bastards. Well, they'll get there someday. Maybe sooner than they think. <laughs> if there was only a way to get up there. Put the rope back in my backpack and take it with me. Looks like it's seen better days. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely seen better days. It kind of reminds me of a vehicle I used to go hunting in. I did quite a bit of it. In other parts of Africa, of course. <laughs> you see, there's, there's not much wild game here in the desert. Though it would be so nice to find something to shoot at. Hmm, why 
hair strippers. <laughs> 